Hi everyone, this is Vivek Dwedi from Nizer and in this video, I am going to show you step by step how to fill the IIT 2022 application form. If you are new to this channel, I have been guiding students starting from the application process to the detailed preparation, important chapters, free study materials, free mock tests, crash courses starting from just 7 to 800 rupees. Okay, so please like this video and subscribe to the channel and you can install my apps iestra for the study materials, mock tests, crash courses, etc. Let's proceed to the application form. Hi everyone, today we are going to apply for ISER aptitude test. You just need to go to this website iseradmission.in. You will see this option, click here to apply. And as you can see, uh, if you have any problems, you can call to this number or mail in this mail ID. Okay. The application last date is actually 15th of the June. So make sure you register before that and don't put any wrong information. Now make sure you do in these browsers only. I was initially using my iPad and Safari and even in iPad I was using Chrome. I installed the Chrome but it did not work. Okay. Now here as they have written you need to have correct phone number and mail ID for registration and then you will get a user ID and password and finally you will go to the second step of the registration. I will show you how to do each one of these things. Okay. This is basically a privacy note that they will not be sharing any uh, information. Now you put your name as per the certificate. Okay, it will be better if you put everything in capital letter. Okay, as per your actual certificates on class 10th and 12th mark sheet. Okay, here you need to put your date of birth. Uh, I'll put some random date of birth here. Okay, but you need to put it exactly as your date of birth in your class 10th and 12th mark sheet. Okay, now we'll come to gender you put your gender then you put your phone number okay you put your phone number you confirm your phone number then put your mail id i have already filled multiple times so it is already showing to me you fill the mail id and then you generate the otp you will get otp in this phone number and mail id this is a very important part of the registration if you put wrong phone number wrong gmail then you will not be able to get the OTP and complete the second step. Apart from that, if you put anything wrong, if you let's say you have put some phone number here of your brother or uncle, and if you lose that phone number, then uh, even after you qualify the ISA aptitude test and you will not get any call for the counseling. And make sure that you always check the spam folder of this mail ID. Okay. Even during the counseling process, a lot of mails actually go to the spam folder of your mail. So make sure these two things are very very important the most important step in the whole application process now they will generate otp actually to verify that your mail id and phone number are correct you put this captcha here like whatever captcha is given to you not exactly this one then you will get an otp okay so I have got an OTP on my phone number as well as my email ID. Okay. Validate your OTP. OTP has been validated. Now, we'll come here, put this captcha. and make sure everything is correct okay make sure your name is as per correct spelling as per your 10th and 12th mark sheet your date of birth is correct as per 10th and 12th mark sheet mobile number mail id everything is correct then you submit then only see they have written it cannot be modified once submitted if you want to put the another application let's say you have put wrong phone number or wrong mail id you will have to use another phone number and another mail id and then you can actually do this step one again okay now so as you can see here registration is successful user id and application number has been generated and please note it okay please note it for future reference always remember this registration number application number or mail id okay now so i have got this i'll close this my first step of admission uh, now first is step of application is done okay now 
click to go to personal details form to complete the application so the second step is actually here go to personal details form first step is done they have put your mail application number phone number date of birth mail um, gender phone number and email address you can take a screenshot of this one or you can just print this out go to the personal details form this is one way to complete the registration another way is actually if you click here visit application portal right if you just click here like you went to original website visit uh, application portal when you were doing this you can actually see here that already registered okay you can see here already registered login so here also you can login to complete this actually you need to have a user id and password this you will get in about two to three minutes like i have just received my uh, user id and password on my phone number and mail id okay so i'll put the user id here if i see what is the user id actually it is same as the application number okay so it is same as the application number zero so this is my user id i'll put the password i'll put the password then captcha and login now this will just login to the same thing now you have again logged in so basically you are already logged in here it will actually log into this page as as you saw actually i just went back and apply, applied and actually came here and then what i logged in right if you had already registered you just log in there here it was already logged in because i was filling the form you just go to the personal details form in any of the tabs as i have done here it is the same thing so i will just cut it okay so again see that these are the recommended browsers otherwise in the middle of the application you will face problems okay that's why these are the recommended browsers i don't know what happened suddenly i'll just refresh the page see, now see uh these are the recommended browsers uh things having what is this what is happening as you can see there is a log out button here right it actually means that i have already logged in that's why it is showing here now you need to fill these fields with star marks are mandatory what are the things you need you need photo not more than 200 kb uh, only in jpeg or jpg format not png or anything signature photocopy of the signature basically photo of signature mark sheet of class 10th and 12th or equivalent maximum size 1 mb make sure you do this okay then photo maximum size 1 mb category certificate if applicable so category certificate is applicable for obc sc st etc then kashmiri migrant certificate if applicable if you are a kashmiri migrant then medical certificate for pwd candidates nri oci pio and these documents if you are in these categories okay if applicable we'll close this now so as you can see here is the section of personal details so we have already filled it in our first step of the registration and here is the phone number you can put another alternative phone number so let's say i'll uh, put a phone number of my brother you can put alternate mail id let's say i'll put uh, another mail id okay then i will just come here select a guardian let's say father you need to put your father's name then father's in educational qualification you can also select mother here or you can just select a guardian here guardian's full name relationship with guardian or educational qualification you need to select his occupation okay brother father and mother can also be guardian that's not an uh, an issue then families annual income you can select then you have to put your category certificate so if you are general category you actually won't need certificate you just need to put the category here then you need to upload your photo okay one of the uh, application photo basically identification id so you can select pan card driving passport voter id right at photo based 10 12 mark sheet or admit card can also be done identification number so there will be identification number in that uh, i'm not sure why aadhar card is not here 
then you can actually select this 12th mark 10 12th mark sheet and you can put the application number or registration number of class 10th and 12th mark sheet then uh, are you a person with disability you can select this customary migrate yes or no okay and then you will have actually if you put yes then also you will have to produce those documents later while the uh, counseling is happening okay not now now citizen indian citizen that i am indian citizen you will put your address here address line to country pin code district you know state then you will come to permanent address okay is it the same as the present address you can select yes or no if no then uh, i don't know they might ask another address okay so they are asking the another permanent address here see so there is a present address this is a present address and this is the perma permanent address and then you save and continue and actually after that you will go to the next step so this was the personal detail section okay you can go to the educational qualification there are three steps here in the second part there are three steps personal details qualification details and documents upload now so in this again you will put your 10th mark sheet and all uh, passing year then select the board year of passing of 12th roll number qualifying exam okay board then your address of school or college whether it is a school private is or government school then is it in rural area or urban area is result declared see you can put if your 12th result is not declared you can just put no right you can just put no if you are already giving so when you put no as you can see here they are saying that you can actually proceed your application however while counseling or admission process it will definitely they will definitely check the minimum eligibility criteria they are just telling you when you click no here okay then do you have mathematics as a subject in class 12th or equivalent yes or no they are asking okay and then you save and continue okay, make sure you do save and continue if you just uh, continue like this if you just go to here then any data you put here will not be saved so actually you will have to save it just go to the bottom and save and continue okay now that was uh, the second step third one is actually to upload all the documents you have mentioned in previous two parts so here you have to upload a scanned copy of your photograph make sure it's not very old and as it was written in the beginning okay as you can see here actually you can go and check here what were the uh, size limits so i think 200 kb or uh, 1 gb 1 mb not 1 gb so you can actually just log in and you know see now make sure this is less than 200 mb then scan copy your signature less than 200 mb then your 10th and 12th mark sheet less than 1 mb and uh, this is for scan copy of class 10th and 12th certificate card this mark sheet or certificate card or admit card and here you have to uh, put the scanned copy of class 10th mark sheet click here to upload you will just have to you know upload the document you can add drop files here now after everything done you will just put this captcha and submit to the uh, all of this will be done and then submit to the next section okay so that was it in the application procedure if you have any questions any doubts write in the comments below or you can message me personally on my apps i